our beloved Massachusetts resident, Woe Town. I don't know if he's from Maine, south of the valley. Y'all hit him up and t ask him what, what part of Woe Town he from. You know what I mean? But he ain't been playing lately. After his onslaught with Karen Civil, he turned his sights on the Steve Stout, which we know for years he has had some questionable business practice. I don't know him personally, but I've heard what he's done throughout the years. Um, So, Jonah Lucas, after scorching Karen Civil, and now he's at the flaming Steve Stout. Lucas claims Steve Stout serving with a cease and desist over copyright infringement. Jonah Lucas is on a rampage. The talented lyricist snapped on Twitter and went off on Karen Civil for money uh, allegations of 60000 Jonah claims that he paid a 60000 in 2015 for promotion. This is when he was a nobody. Now, let's get over to um, Steve Stout. Now, mind you, let's also make this. Cam has said this prior before this, and people thought it was clout chasing. And now you see what's going on. Now, Jonah has turned his anger towards the music mogul Steve Stouts after everything that transpired yesterday. Um, it was made realize it's been a lot had he been tweeting. She said small for how a guy got over $100 million to help serve artists with tech. $50 million from Apple's just a couple months ago, Steve Stout. You know how master is lame of F. You raised $50 million from Apple to help artists in their careers in United Masters, but you just paid lawyers thousands of dollars to send an independent artist a copyright infringement for saying the world's record label in a pocket. How are you acting any different than a major label? He continued. Now, Jonah also posted screenshots of the cease and desist letter United Masters considered to use such a a uh, marker a record label in the pocket a blatant violation of united masters rights it reads not only truly app is using the exact mark record label in the pocket but the record label in the pocket mark is also being used in connection with goods and services that directly can fix and compete with the goods and services of united masters under the record label in the mark thing it continues joiner didn't stop there though he also continued to go on on steve stout and how he think the music mobile will respond to these allegations. He said, I thought we was cool. We had meetings with you. We gave you a demo of software to build an alliance to help artists. I made a mistake in my career and I'm trying to pay it forward. And you ends are doing the same major label ish you preach against. I'm tired of ends playing with me, bro. I raised ten million dollars for the Truly app and raised a hundred million and you raised over $100 million for United Masters. Yet, I have more tech built than y'all. That's a fact. So how and why you ends up watching me and sending me letters of this lame as F. Now, he says, at Steve Stout, don't do that industry BS and you know you had no idea legal to do that. You paid them thousands of dollars to send copyright infringement letters. You spent thousands on, on legal ways to register trademarks, names to prevent independent artists to push the same exact narrative. And there he go with that. Now, in this business, it's so, so shady. And it seems like the shadier you are, the better you are in the music business. Jonah Lucas come from a class of people who had to struggle to get where he at. And he did not want to do the same thing to other guys. And I respect that. And we need to rally behind him. You know what I mean? Because these are the things that would stop a lot of people from giving up music. I'm one of them. Um, I've been burnt so many times trying to put out music and... Um, mixtape DJs making you pay for this. Radio guys taking your money, not playing. DJs at the strip club. You name it, I'm into it. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollar piss down the drain. And you don't want to bring a pistol in the situation because you don't want to lose your freedom. But this is actually nothing new for Steve Stout compared to what we heard throughout the years, allegedly, of what he have done in his questionable business practices. I'm not saying I do know. I don't know the man. I'm just telling you what I've read over the years. This is in the Vibe magazine when they was talking dirty about this. But hey, what do I...